All right, number one in power play. Let's go. 1384 out of 1422, 60,000 star points. If we go here to uh, the leaderboards and we go to previous season, you can see that I'm number one. And that's just 38 points off of perfect, I think. So yeah, let's hop in the games. The last day was showdown and let's hop right into it. All right, so I talked to a lot of my friends about who I should use in showdown. And uh, one of them suggested B. So I thought that wasn't a bad idea because it's a really open map. And B actually with her honey coat would be able to survive. My biggest worry was invisible Leons, right? I didn't want to die to like some invisible Leon that just comes out of nowhere and then I lose my first place. So B has this star power uh, honey coat that got nerfed, but it's still really good in showdown because obviously you die once in showdown, it's over. And oh, that <laughs> Leon got taken out rip. And so it's pretty good in showdown as you'll see later this game. But also during this game, I was lagging really hard. Like every three seconds, you can see I'll stop moving. And that's not me. That's like the game making me stop moving. You can see here, I'm just going back and forth to like test out this lag. And you can see whenever I stop moving, that's not me. That's the game freezing every three seconds. So I was pretty uh, scared about this. So I just decided to stay in the grass and wait it out. Uh, here's everyone else in the showing game. A Brock comes over here, and I think he gets too close to the Daryl, yeah, and gets taken out. So the Daryl is six elixir, and I was shooting at him, so that is not good. He's gonna go over to this wall and just, he can't, he knows I'm in the grass, but he can't see me right now because I'm staying one tile away. But when you're right next to the wall and someone's in the grass on their side, you can see them. So he's just waiting me, for me to see him. And this is not good because there's three people left and they all have more elixir than me and this Daryl's right next to me. So I decide to say YOLO and team with the Daryl. So, I mean, what what could go wrong? Six elixir Daryl, huh? Probably will backstab me, but I decided to give it a go. And then this Leon wanted to team as well. And I'm like, okay, I have the least elixir here. Why not? I'll just keep my distance and hope they don't kill me. I decided to backstab the Leon there because why not? Uh, <laughs> Tara used her suck for the healing puppet, which is actually really funny. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or not. It's not that bad of a play, it just looks really funny. So yeah, uh, I take her out and look at this. The Daryl rolls me, I use my super. The extra health saves me and I kill him before that final shot came off. So that was really hype. And uh, let's hop into the next game here. So, uh, I got a really lucky spawn this game, look at this. Two boxes with no one to compete for it was really good. So um, I'm just doing my best chipping these boxes. The one thing about being shut on is she's really slow at getting boxes. So I actually saw that crow go into that bush earlier. So I know he's down there and that's gonna be important later. In showdown, it's always, you always need to keep track of where people are. Even if like they went in a bush like a minute ago, they're probably still there when you show up. So I decided not to go for that box in the middle. And that's good because there's a Leon in the grass. There's a Pam over here and I think I decided to shoot her, but I think I missed her a lot <laughs> in this sequence. I just wanted my supercharge shot and I back up. That's all I really wanted. Um, you do so much burst with the supercharge shot, so it's really good. And you can tell when a bee has her supercharge shot because, yeah, that. And sorry for getting this video out so late. I'm just gonna talk about it now. Uh, I was feeling really sick. I thought I had Corona, but I'm feeling better now. So I don't think it's Corona. Ooh, this was sketch. A Daryl rolled in and I was shooting at the Pam who got her healing turret up, which is not good for me. And I knew this crow was in here. That's why I was staying away from the grass. So I just, I shot at the grass and I luckily hit him. So he backed up. Um, luckily no one thought I was a threat there and went for me. The Daryl died, I go pick up the elixir. And now I have more elixir than the Pam, so I can back her up, she's scared of me. And I'm just gonna shoot at this crow until I kill him. Eventually I'll be able to kill him, and yeah, I think I take him out there. And this Max is kind of sketched too, so I'm just gonna back away from him and hope for the best. Everyone's going for the Pam now, I think. 
they're being really passive and just going for one player at a time. I never teamed with this max, but we sort of teamed because we didn't shoot at each other, we just shot at other people. Like, he does a little spin there, but I didn't spin back, but he just shot at that Leon. So now, it's a 1v1, and look at this extra life. Look at that, that was so close. And I snagged the first place. That was insane. That was an insane ending. But yeah, the final game here, I I choked on this final game. I should have been more aggro to this gene. I feel like if I went towards the boxes, I could have killed him. But I was, I was really nervous. This was like the final game. So I don't know what I was doing here. I was looking for boxes, but as soon as I didn't, there's only one spawn location for the box, which is which was right next to those walls to my left. So as soon as I saw that wasn't there, I should have gone back and fought the gene. But now he already has one elixir, so it's it's like, <laughs> yeah, this I kind of choked at the beginning, and I, yeah, I'm still lagging too. So that's one of the reasons I didn't go aggro. I was just really scared and nervous. But yeah, um, didn't even hit the gene once. I just decided to back up and uh, fight someone else because Gene actually kind of... Gene kind of counters me, in my opinion. Kind of hard counters her, so yeah. There's a Crow here, um, and a Brock right there. And this is when the lag got bad because I think when I'm fighting these guys, like, I lag pretty bad, so it gets rid of my uh, one health star power. So yeah, I get this thing. And then I lag, don't see the shot, so I, after I lag, I decide to say fuck it, and I go for the Brock. And then the Gene comes over here and takes me out. I should have gone behind that wall, but yeah. So first, first, and fourth, actually not that bad, but I do really want perfect, and I'm going to be going for perfect next season. Uh, yeah, this game plays out, but we can go back to the leaderboards. Actually, no, I kind of want to see how this game plays out. I think it's actually close, but the gene does get first place here. I don't know how, because there's a 6 elixir crow in B. But uh, the, the B and crow are just shooting at him, and then they just, like, the crow decides to leave the gene alone and go for the B. I would have gone for the gene. Gene seems like more of a threat. Yeah, the, the B gets taken out, and crow chokes, basically. So, yeah. Fourth place... So yes, I am going to go for perfect this season in power play. Um, thank you guys for watching the first couple episodes. If you enjoy, make sure to subscribe and like. Leave a comment. Um, really trying hard to do daily uploads, but um, I was sick. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.